Nginx. It's like a gateway that stands between the internet and your backend infrastructure. When you visit a web app, the first place your request will go is to a web server. Its job is to look at the requested resource and determine where to find it on the server, then send it back as the response. In fact, if you open up the Network tab in Chrome DevTools right now, you can look at the server header on any response, and there's a good chance it'll be Nginx. It's extremely popular with high-traffic sites because it can handle more than 10,000 simultaneous connections with its event-driven architecture. It's also commonly used as a reverse proxy, where it acts as a traffic light to distribute the load to multiple backend servers, while also providing security and caching for better performance. In most cases, it'll be installed on a Linux server, with the configuration file being found in the etc directory. You customize the behavior of your server by defining directives. A directive is just a key value pair, or if followed by braces, it's known as a context, which itself holds more directives. In the global context, we might want to specify things like a username and where to save our error logs, but most of your configuration will likely be done in the HTTP context. Now, one of the most important roles of Nginx is to serve out static content like images and HTML. We we can handle that in the HTTP context, where we'll define one or more servers. Each server is distinguished by the port that it listens to. Nginx will keep track of every request to the server, which you can write to an access log. The most important thing, though, is to tell the server where to find the raw files, which we do in the location context. Now when a user navigates to our domain, it knows where to find the HTML on the file system, and we might want to set up a second location to match any image pattern to the images directory. Other common things you might handle in your server config include SSL certificates, rewrites, and routing to a proxy server. When I replace root with proxy pass, I can point to a completely different server on the internet. What we've created is a reverse proxy that can handle caching, anonymity, and load balancing. This has been Nginx in 100 seconds. Hit the like button if you want to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.